Ahir zaman işaretlerinden Our beloved Prophet peace and blessings be upon him mentioned the signs of the end of times and when our beloved Prophet peace be upon him mentioned and spoke about the signs of the end of times he described that in the end of times there will come a time when people will only like their own thoughts and their only way and they will only like their own way of thinking and they will not like or respect or appreciate the thoughts of others or the way others think and this description of our Allah Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, perfectly applies to the time we now live in, where people are all, are so convinced of their own way of thinking and do not accept other people's way of thinking. Everyone thinks that what he knows is the only truth and people think in general that what others think or how others see things or understand things is wrong. People say, based on my opinion, things should be like this. And they say, according to me, the right way is this way or what I think is correct. And then they try to enforce their own thoughts and their own understanding. But this is not the good way. But what if the way you think your understanding or opinion is wrong? One needs to become aware of being wrong. Either. And it is important to know one own, to know one's own shortcomings, and to also know when one is not correct or one one is wrong. Because when you know about your own shortcomings and when you know when you are wrong, then you can correct that. However, if you are stubborn and insist on thinking that what you know, even though it is wrong and even though it is incorrect, if you think and pretend it to be right, yeah. then you will be not benefiting from it. Instead, many times you will rather be harming and damaging yourself. And this applies to the general situation when it comes to worldly affairs that people are self-convinced of their own way of thinking. And however, this way of self-conviction is dangerous when it comes to the affairs of the hereafter. So assuming that there is a spiritual or religious matter, and then in in the face of this spiritual or religious matter, you say, this should be done like that. But the moment you make a recommendation on a religious or a spiritual matter, you have put yourself into a situation of making a fatwa. And by expressing your opinion in that regard, you are making a fatwa by yourself. But we are in no position, you are in no position to make a fatwa. 
You cannot make judgments in spiritual, spiritual and religious matters, and express your express recommendations and make a fatwa. Fatwa verirsen, günaha girersen. If you give recommendations, make a fatwa in religious or spiritual matters without having authorization or knowledge in that matter, then you are in fact committing a sin. Başkasının işine de karışırsan Because by that you are interfering into the affairs of others daha beter and that is even worse when you interfere into the when when you interfere with the affairs of others daha yerimiş olursun bizim bildiğin şeyi emin olduğun şeyi bunu duyduk bunu şu böyle şey yapıyor gene de you may speak about matters you must be very careful about what you say you may say something about something you know with certainty but even then you need to be careful and when again when it's a spiritual and religious matters you should always advise people to seek advice and recommendations rather than giving a recommendation a fatwa yourself you should advise people to have them seek a seek an advice hem alim olması lazım hem fetva sahibi olması lazım ki because in order to give a recommendation or to make a fatwa one not only needs to be a true scholar but also one needs to have the authorization of giving a fatwa fatwa versin ona mesuliyetini o taşır because when you give a fatwa you carry responsibility for the actions of that person yok herkes Elif Merdeh'ten anlamayan insan kalkıp da kendi kafasına göre fetvalar verir. But now we see that people who even don't know the alphabet think of themselves to be scholars and give recommendations here and there and make fatwas by doing so. Dünya işte hadi anladık yanlış olabilir yani sen reyin düşüncen yanlış olabilir and this happens both in worldly affairs and spiritual spiritual religious affairs when it's about a worldly matter and you give an advice about something either you know about something or you are you think that you are right but it turns out that you were wrong then that damage only will apply to this world and you will not have done a harm to hereafter. Ahiret için bir şeyler fetva verirsen o vakit büyük ve bağlı olursun. However, if you make a fatwa on spiritual and religious matters, then you are causing damage which applies to the hereafter which is going to be a great burden on you. Büyük e, ceza alabilir. And it may even turn into a great punishment for you. Ahirette. In the hereafter. Çünkü Allah Azze ve Celle'nin Peygamber Efendimiz sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem'in dediğinin dışında olursa Because while you say something and make a fatwa on a matter it may happen that you may actually say things which are in contradiction to what Allah Almighty or Allah Prophet peace be upon him says. O fatwa ona and if you truly do so and say something that is an opposition knowingly or unknowingly then you have put on a great burden for which you will be held accountable and if you say something which stands in opposition and contradicts then you do not only have put on a responsibility that burden but you have become worthy of Allah Almighty's punishment in the hereafter. Therefore, protect yourselves from committing sins out of nothingness by making fatwas. Don't harm yourself by making fatwas. 
Bilirsa bilirim. Bilmem demek de güzeldir. When you know something about a matter, you may know about that. But when you have no knowledge about something, you should openly admit that I don't know. Bilmediğin şey sen bilmezsin, başkası bilir. And there may be things which you do not which you do not have any knowledge about, and there are others who are knowledgeable knowledgeable about that matter. Başkası onun fetvasını verir, onun And people may then seek the advice of those people who have knowledge in that matter and get the fatwa from them who have authorization to do, to give that fatwa. Nedir doğru, nedir kötü olan şeyi anlatır. Ama sen o şeyi kesmiş olursun, sen kendi fatwa verirsen. However, the moment you give a fatwa on a matter which you have no knowledge about or where you are unknowingly or unknowingly wrong in what you think then you're preventing people from actually seeking the advice of the true scholars and actually seeking the true answer or the right recommendation for their matter because people will then trust what you say and they will say there is no need for me to seek any other advice ben bilmiyorum ben However if you simply said I don't know ilmim bu kadar yok bu kadar şey I don't have any knowledge on that matter haberim yok bu şey meseleden or I have not been informed about that sen git müftülere rather go and seek the advice and the recommendations of uh, of true scholars of muftis yani sor dersen o vakit adam evet, hanım kim olursa and by doing so you encourage them to seek advice and this applies to both men and women they need to seek advice hakikati öğrenmiş olur and by thus searching that knowledge they will learn about the truth senin de vebadan, seni de vebadan kurtarmış olur so we will have encouraged them to search the truth and you will have saved yourselves from burdening yourself with an, with an accountability and a, and a responsibility which you, which will which would turn for you into a punishment Allah nefsimizi uydurmasın ne? may Allah almighty protect us from succumbing to our egos Biz, e, zanneder ki her şeyi bilirim ya the ego always thinks that it knows everything. Bilmem dese, bilmem demek kötü bir şey zanneder ne? And the ego thinks it is a bad thing to say, I don't know. Fis, halbuki o, o kötü bir şey değil. But it is not a bad thing to admit that some that you don't have knowledge or you don't know about something. Bildiğini söyle, bilmediğini e, söyleme. If you know something with certainty, you may say that, but you should refrain from saying things which you have no knowledge about. Just say, I don't know. Because if you say things about about which you do not have any knowledge about, then you will put yourself into the danger of having committed a sin. And moreover, you may have then been the cause for a person to get off the right track. May Allah Almighty protect us from doing so. Allah